Welcome to episode 12 of our new series following our expedition from Walvis Bay, the west coast of Namibia, Africa, all the way to Egypt, coming on the east coast of Africa and going north. Those of you that have watched episode 11 already know that due to unforeseen circumstances, we had to change our plans within a week because I wasn't allowed to fly back to Europe. So we headed from Walvis Bay three days ago. We have already almost 2,000 kilometers uh, done on this trip. We have 13,000 more to get to Alexandria, Egypt. We have our water system loaded in the car for the Simuami village in Zambia. This will be our new system that we install in, in this expedition. As I told you in my previous episode, I would love to install at least one system in each country that we pass through and to document the tremendous need for water of the people and children of Africa. It turned out to be so far uh, quite a unique expedition because we, we, we live in the global crisis right now at the end of 2020 and we see Africa as I've never seen it before. I've been to Africa for the past 25 years, uh, many, many times through the route that we passed, we passed through. I've never seen it like this. No tourists, no visitors. Most of the uh, places we camp are completely empty. And uh, this will be a, a unique experience for us all in documenting Africa's thirst. Let me give you a little bit of technical data on the expedition because I know some of you are travelers at heart, adventurers, and I want to, to share with you how we did it so far. A week ago, we didn't have a car. We knew we have to do this trip. And within a week, we planned the entire expedition, which normally would take three to six months to properly plan it. Luckily, we're experienced travelers. We've been to Africa uh, before. We worked in these conditions. We're very adaptable and we know how to adapt to new situations and new conditions. We left Walvis Bay three days ago. We went straight east into the Kalahari on the Trans-Kalahari Highway. We followed from the beginning into the footsteps of David Livingston. This for me will be a very important expedition as well from, from a different point of view. David Livingston spent almost 40 years in Africa. He died somewhere in Zambia or now away where his best friend Susie and Chuma buried his heart under a big baobab. And we following his footsteps of his 19,000 kilometers that he did by foot over the 40 years in Africa. It's an amazing privilege to see how his vision almost 200 years ago had opened up the present, the current commercial routes of Africa. He always was of the opinion that if we can discover and map all the commercial routes in Africa, Africa will develop and will, will give a better life to its people. This is what we want to see on our way. And this is what we also want to show you how we can find these remote villages without water and also trying to help them as much as we can with installation of the water systems with solar technology. Right now, we are in Chobi National Park. It's by the border of Zambia, by the border of Zimbabwe, by the border of Namibia and Botswana. It's where the four countries meet right before Victoria Falls on the Zambezi. Three days from now, we will cross into Zambia we will go to Simuami village, we'll install this new water system there, which you will see in episode 13 next Sunday. And then from then on, we head east towards Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Stay tuned. We are extremely excited. You know, we have our challenges in our road with borders, with COVID tests, with all the regulations that we are carefully observing. This expedition is giving us great satisfaction that we're actually going to see firsthand the need of Africa for water and how you and I can actually change the lives of these people. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your continuous interest in what we do and in your financial support for these children and the people of Africa. Stay tuned. We'll be back with episode 13 next week.